This lesson discusses understanding timestamps. The topics include what is a timestamp? When would you use it? How can you get a timestamp from PHP? And what are some relative formats? Looking at the first code example, as you can see, the time command is one of the quickest and easiest ways to obtain a timestamp. The time command returns a value which represents the number of seconds since January 1st, 1970. This concept came from the Unix environment where a quick and easy way was needed in order to store a value which could represent both date and time. On line 6, as you can see, we are going to simply echo the current timestamp. On line 14, we introduced the date command, which is discussed in more detail in another lesson. In this example, we're representing the full name of the day of the week, the two digit day of the month, the full name of the month, the four digit year, followed by the timestamp. On line 14, we're going to simply use the timestamp of 1. On line 15, we are going to use the timestamp which represents the current time. Moving now to the browser, Let's have a look at the results. So you can see that the current timestamp is a large number. Timestamp of 1, January 1st, 1970, and of course, today's date. Please remember that one of the purposes of the date command is to format the timestamp into a meaningful display. Looking now at the second code example, another way of generating a timestamp is to use the make time function, M K T I M E. It takes arguments which represent the hour, minutes, seconds, month, day, and year, and it then returns the equivalent timestamp. So on line six, we are going to generate a timestamp for 10th of January 2013 at midnight. We are then going to echo the timestamp and use the timestamp in conjunction with the date command to produce a readable date. Moving now to the browser, let's run the second example. So again, you see a large number, which represents the number of seconds from 1st of January, 1970, until 10th of January, 2013. We then take that timestamp and render it using the date command. Looking now at the third code example, Another possibility is to use the stir to time command. The stir to time command takes a date string as an argument and it then returns a timestamp. In the first example, we are using a fixed date. You'll notice that there's a variety of options available with date strings. On line 7, we render the date 2013-0101. On line 9, we render it as 01. January, J-A-N, 2013. And you'll see that the two timestamps will come back as the same value. We can also use what is referred to as a relative date format. The documentation for this is shown on line 15. Having a quick look now at the documentation, you can see that the relative formats allow us to specify day names, either spelled out or abbreviated. We can also indicate the text such as weekday, weekdays, a number, plus or minus, ordinal values, first, second, third, and so on. We can also say next, last, previous. Relatively speaking, likewise, we can indicate a space, and finally, we can also indicate a unit, because we might be referring to hours, minutes, seconds, days, months, years, etc. So the format might look something like this. Other possibilities. Today, yesterday, tomorrow, midnight, back of, front of, first day of, last day of, etc. So there's quite a few possibilities for representing dates using relative date addressing. Looking back to the code, you can see some examples. On line 17, the first Monday of January 2013. On line 23, the timestamp for yesterday. And finally, inside the for loop, you'll notice we are representing the third Thursday of each month in 2013. The way we do this is we use sprintf to produce a relative date format string. We substitute $x for the month. We then use the stir to time function to produce a timestamp from the date string. We then render the timestamp 
using the date command with a format code. Again, the date command is discussed in more detail in another lesson. Looking now at the results, running the third example, as you can see, the timestamp rendered using different date strings comes back as the same value. Here's the timestamp for the first Monday in 2013. Using the date command, we can render this. The timestamp for yesterday. And finally, the third Thursday of each month in 2013. In review, what is a timestamp? A timestamp comes from Unix and represents the number of seconds since midnight January 1st, 1970 Greenwich Mean Time. When would you use a timestamp? The timestamps are used to store information in a database. You can also use timestamps to represent dates in various ways. Timestamps can also be added and subtracted from each other to determine future or past dates. How can you get a timestamp using PHP? You could use the time command to return the timestamp for now. The make time command will produce a timestamp based on hours, minutes, seconds, day, month, year. And finally, you can use the stir to time command to produce a timestamp from a date string. What are some relative formats? Relative formats include day names, numbers, ordinality, such as first, second, third, relative, such as next, last, previous, and also units, hour, day, month, etc. This concludes our discussion of understanding timestamps.